Hi guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at the glass box style and if we go to a scene tool, that's where that style is and if I go to, so we can go to scene designer and you can access the, from the project window you can access scene tool from here and if we go to effect controls and click on scene designer we can see the properties right over here so most of the properties in here are the same but we have some some that are unique to the glass box style first of all you have the add glass box option we can add that or remove it then you have the metal pins you can add those or remove them you can even add a border and give it a different color and choose a different thickness as well just like that and you can even tweak the box roundness which is quite nice so if I give that a zero it is a perfect square if I give it something like 50 it is it has rounded edges so uh, that's the glass box properties I'm going to remove the border for now and uh, now if I go to display card properties you have the display card color so you can give that a different color and these are si very similar to the to, to the previous to the previous uh, minimal style. Then you have the card size. You can tweak the card size in here. The title block once again, just like the minimal style. And then you have the display element, which is just like the minimal style, where you can add a column, etc. Add a platform or a column, and. In here they are not showing since I am at, at this start and they have a small animation on them. But if I go a little bit, move a little bit in here, you can see that right over there. So that's the display element. Then in the background you have the same options in here, but in here you have another option which is add reflection. And if I click on that, you will see that reflection right over here. So that's basically it for the for the glass box style. Now one thing to mention is that by default, this is using the the Cinema 4D rendering engine, and by default, if we go to here to tweak 3D glass box animation here for scene 02, so we can access that from right over here as well. Just double click on that, and if you go in here, this is where we will tweak the actual 3D animation, and by default the settings are set to low so that you will preview things fast in here but if you are going to render and you would like to increase a little bit the the settings in here all you need to do is simply go to composition settings and of course when you are inside this composition when you are in the tweak 3d glass box animation here composition and go to 3d renderer go to options for cinema 4d and increase this Use something around the middle in here would be good. In this case, I'm going to leave it in draft for now so that we preview a little bit things faster. So click OK and OK. And that's basically it with those settings. So uh, let's jump to the next video. We will see how we can add animation to our, to, to our toolkit.